What is up, guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. Of course, uh, tonight is going to be the Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 11 on Premiere, but of course, before that, before the episode even airs or anything like that, I want to do my weekly Walking Dead Q&A leading up to the Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 11, Morning Star. Any sign of them? No, we didn't get that far. My mother's coming. They're closing in on us. Alexandra can't get here. We're going to have to fight. Okay, guys, so this is going to be doing another Walking Dead Q&A video for today. This one we're going to be doing, of course, uh, answering some of your guys' Q&A questions leading up to the tonight, uh, tonight's episode of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 11, uh, Morning Star. So, f of course, for anybody that has a premiere, uh, The Walking Dead is tonight, guys. I am super excited for the episode. Um, you know, like I've been saying all week, this is probably my most hyped episode of The Walking Dead uh, Season 10, second half so far. Uh, maybe my most hyped episode of Season 10, you know, Period. Honestly, um, it's it, it looks like a very very good episode. Very uh, you know exciting uh, you know very very exciting trailers and sneak peeks we've gotten this week uh, leading up to the episode. So um, yeah, but anyway, I want to answer you guys Q and A questions, of course. Uh, you know, leading into this episode. So yeah, let's get started with you guys Q and A questions for this week's Walking Dead Q and A. First question for today comes from Kernow17, who asks, uh, do you think, uh, so he's asking basically what kind of storylines would I have um, if, uh, like, once we're past the comic book series storyline uh, in the TV show, once they've covered all the uh, the comic stuff in the TV show. So, um, what would I do past the comic storyline in the TV show if I was running The Walking Dead? First of all, um, that's that's a question that's difficult to answer for Kernow17, because we don't know if season 12 is going to be the last season or not. It's possible that we may get a season 13, but right now rumors is, is that season 12 could be the end. So if season 12 is the end of The Walking Dead, I see them just ending it where the comic was and them not bringing anything new to the TV show at all. Um, if though they go on to a season 13, if there's a chance that they could do a season 13, which I don't know, I don't see that right now, but maybe I'm wrong in that. Um, then I would personally have, uh, you know, as another storyline to do that would not be in the comics to kind of make the show last longer, um, I would definitely have the CRM become like a big villain in The Walking Dead. Uh, you could definitely do it still either way. If World Beyond is doing it without Rick being involved, you could definitely do it uh, in The Walking Dead. The thing is, is that you would probably have to have the CRM your last threat of the entire Walking Dead series because I would like The Walking Dead to end when they finally find Rick. You know, I think that'd be kind of cool. So, um, um, or at least near the end of The Walking Dead, them kind of find Rick and Andrew Lincoln just come back for like maybe the final episode of The Walking Dead. Man, I hope Andrew Lincoln can do that because I really, I would love to see Andrew Lincoln return for the final episode of The Walking Dead. I, I, I think he will do it. I just, you know, I think it's going to take The Walking Dead ending for him to really come back for that last episode, um, if that. So yeah, for Kernow 17, I would have the CRM be a, be a threat. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, if we get past the comic storyline in the TV show, that's what I would do. Uh, you know, that, that's, it's, it's a pretty interesting idea, and uh, yeah, I think people would like it. So yeah, um, but write your comments in the comment section below. What would you do uh, with, uh, you know, if if they pass the comic storyline the TV show, what would you do next as a writer that uh, you would have to make new material for the TV show? So yeah, uh, very good question by Kernow17. Thank you very much for the question. Next question comes from Epic Zombie Killer, who says, uh, do you think that they are setting up Carol's death in this half season of The Walking Dead, thus making uh, making Carol um, more uh, reckless, and uh, or do you think they'll redeem her? So, um, for Epic Zombie Killer, honestly, I just don't think Walking Dead can lose Carol right now. Uh, I know maybe some people don't like her right now, and I get that, and I'm not the biggest fan of Carol right now either, but I just don't see them killing off Carol right now in the, the t at this time. I just... Um, I think it'd be a really bad decision. I think it wouldn't be good for the show if they killed off Carol right now. Um... I just don't think, I don't think it's a good idea for the show because Carol is one of the last season one characters. Uh, yes, they do have episode 14 titled Look at the Flowers, which I know maybe makes some people kind of nervous, but, um, to answer your question, Epic, I just don't think so. Even though, um, I get maybe why you think that because they are maybe kind of making her a bit more reckless than she usually would be, but I think they're just going to redeem her at this point. I, I have a feeling that Magna and Connie are alive and I have a feeling that Connie, I have a feeling that even Connie will tell Carol, you know, like, in 
in the way Connie kind of, you know, communicates with people, you know. I have a feeling that Connie's going to tell Carol once she gets to her again. Like, I know you didn't mean to do it. You know, we're, we're good. That type of thing. You know, we survived. You know, and even if we didn't, you know, that type of thing. I just, Connie's very easygoing. I don't see Connie being, uh, holding a grudge against Carol for making her trap down there in the cave. Uh, maybe Magna, because Mag Magna is just... Magna's Magna, you know, uh, but uh, Connie, I don't see her holding a grudge against Carol, but in terms of Carol, um, I just don't think they're going to kill her right now, but thank you very much, Epic, for the question. Next one uh, also comes from Epic Zombie Killer, who basically shares his opinion about Kelly, and he pretty much asks me, uh, do I think she's going to be killed off? So, um, Kelly in The Walking Dead right now, man, I do not like Kelly either. I have to agree with Epic Zombie Killer. Kelly is... One of the most annoying characters in the show right now. Uh, Magna maybe more because, you know, but Kelly is close. Um, I just don't understand what they're doing with her. And that's basically what Epic kind of talks about in this, uh, this question as well is that, um, it's just, you know, where are they going with Kelly's, you know, character? Uh, Connie, you know, definitely, I think she's a great character. I think they've done a really good job with her and I, I do still believe she's alive. Um, Yumiko has grown on me. I, I'm liking Yumiko a bit more. Um, you know, Luke, I think is fine. I think Luke is a, uh, is a pretty good character, but then you just have Magna and, Con uh, Magna and Kelly, sorry, that are just like, terrible characters, you know? Um, Kelly, she doesn't do anything, and somehow you're gonna tell me that these whispers that are coming at him, somehow Mag, uh, or somehow Kelly just somehow kills all these whispers. Like, those whispers in episode 9, when they got out of the cave, man, those whispers could not fight. Um, you know, but that's besides the point. I'm just saying that I think that Kelly, um, if they killed her off, nobody would care, so I don't think they're gonna kill Kelly right now. I think they're just gonna keep trying to make her interesting, and it's not gonna work. And then I have a feeling that maybe Angela, maybe by season 11, she'll be like okay fans don't like you so i'll just kill her off you know honestly i i see her i see angela doing something like that to be honest um I think Angela wants us to like Kelly. She's just not doing it in a very good way. And I don't think the actress for Kelly's really that that good either, if you ask me. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Connie, great casting. Uh, Luke, great casting. Yumiko, pretty good casting. But Magna and Kelly, I don't know what they were thinking. I'm sorry, but I really, I just don't know what they were thinking with the two of them. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I do, I, I, that's my question for you guys, though. I don't think they'll kill off Kelly, but which one do you guys like better? Do you like Kelly more or do you like Magna more? Uh, or do you want to go with, you know, which one you hate more. Write that down in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. Which one do you hate more, Magna or Con or, or, or Kelly, sorry. Um, I always want to say Col uh, Connie for some reason. Uh, which one do you hate more, uh, Magna uh, or uh, Kelly, and which one do you like more, you know? Um, I personally, right now, I'm going to say I like Kelly a bit more just because she at least kind of keeps the peace with everybody, but the character is written really bad. Magna is just rude to everybody. It's really, it's really, really annoying at this point. So anyway, um, but yeah, I don't think they're going to kill off Kelly right now, Epic, just mainly because uh, I feel like it's um, it, it wouldn't work right now uh, because nobody would care. You know, that's that's really the only thing I would have to say. Thank you very much for the question. Next question comes from Mega Matt, who basically says, uh, do you think uh, dogs should get some screen, uh, more screen time? So, um, absolutely, absolutely. A uh, dog has not been in the last two episodes or... The mid-season finale, like, I think the last time we saw a dog was what, like, um, Alexandria, when Daryl had a dog, like, uh, like, like, cause they, he was, like, sitting on his couch in Alexandria and stuff like that, in episode 7 of season 10, I think, um, it makes me worry a little bit, cause I'm like, did Daryl leave dog at Alexandria while he went out, you know, to, to the cave and stuff, um, because in that case, dog is lucky, like, you know, uh, he, cause Beta went into Alexandria and went into a lot of the houses, so, I want to, I want to see dogs, so I'm just like, holy crap, man, like, they just went into Alexandria, which is the last place we saw a dog at, um, I don't think dog went with Daryl in the cave, no, he didn't, so, that just, yeah, that's really weird to me, I don't know, um, I have a feeling that Judith or somebody else has dog right now, but that's just really weird, and if we don't see dog by episode, like, at least 12, I'm gonna start questioning, I'm gonna be like, okay, like, where is dog, so, uh, yeah, very good question, very, very good question, but, uh, do I think dog's gonna get more screen time for Mega Matt? No, right now, because it's, it's like, you know, but may maybe season 11, they can do more with him, but I, I have a feeling this season, with all the other things going on, I don't think we're gonna barely see him, which, which is really unfortunate, but yeah, um, we did make, uh, he does have his own Funko Pop now, though, so that's really cool, and I keep, I keep promising Epic, too, that I'm gonna, uh, review the dog pop, and I just keep forgetting, so I'm gonna have to do that for him, uh, pretty soon as well, um, and, uh, then, uh, uh, Mega Matt also asked, uh, a question about the Heath, do, uh, do I think he's gonna be in the Rick Grimes movie? So, um, yes, I do. I think he will be. I think that's going to be one of the big things that is going to be kind of surprising when we see a trailer. Is gonna, like we're going to see Heath in it. But are people going to care at the same time? Like diehard fans will care like us. But people, there are some people that may even like the casual fans might be like, like 
who is that? Like, you know, like, like, the, you know, when you're in theaters, when, when, we're, when we're all going to be in theaters watching the Rick Grimes movie, um, I guarantee nobody is going to, is going to applaud or do any kind of noises or anything when Heath has his first scene on the movie. Cause but most people will be like, Oh, I don't even remember that guy. Like, you know, most people in the audience, when I'm probably watching the Rick Grimes movie in theaters, there's not going to be when Heath comes out, like, you're not going to hear a big, <gasps> like, no, you're not, you're not going to hear that. Nobody, barely anybody's probably going to remember him. I, that's just, that's just how I'm predicting it right now uh because he's been gone for a good while and a lot of people probably and he didn't have that much screen time when he was on the show anyway so yeah um and you know nobody really likes swear and that was the one episode that he was like big in so i don't know um that's just my opinion but uh you know i think rick uh, or uh, the rick grimes movies will have heath in it but i just don't i, I don't think people are really going to care is the only thing i think we will you know because we'll be like okay finally we know where he's at but I don't know, right now I'm just like, you know, I don't know if people even remember who he is, like the casual fans, you know, so, uh, thank you very much to Mega Man, Epic Zombie Killer, and Kurnow17 for asking the questions, I do appreciate it, guys, if you want to participate in the next Walking Dead Q&A video, like all these guys that uh, participated in this one, all you gotta do is write Q&A before your question, and of course, uh, you know, ask away, I will of course, uh, you know, uh, do another Walking Dead Q&A video leading up to episode 12, uh, next Friday, so of course, uh, catch that, and of course, guys, uh, I really appreciate all the support from you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, write your comments in the comment section below, if you're new here, click the subscribe button, so no miss any my Walking Dead videos. Follow Dan's Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. Do appreciate it. Of course, I will catch you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Anybody else?